Welcome to Delfield Tech Talk. In this episode, we're going to be going over an expanded version of the download and update firmware on a touchscreen control. You might be familiar with the GA control setup, so we'll get a little faster into it. For this, you're going to need power to the unit, admin password, a service password, and a USB containing the latest firmware update. First up, we're going to need to download the latest firmware update. And to do that, we're going to search for www.delfield.com. There, we're going to hover over the hamburger icon. Don't click, then go to how to service. Click on service parts. And then on the top bar, the third one over is going to be service information and downloads. Here we can get all sorts of great information, but for now, we're going to focus on downloading the information. We want to save the file and then click OK and then go to wherever you find your downloads and open up that file source and there we can see our file has downloaded. Next up we're going to unzip the file and place it in a thumb drive. Go ahead and plug in your USB thumb drive or flash drive. Find your file that you just downloaded, right click on it and select extract all. Now you're going to want to browse for your USB location or your flash drive location. There we have it and then we're going to select that folder. Then you can hit extract and as you'll see here in a second, the files will show up inside of our thumb drive. Here you'll have a firmware update folder and six files inside of that that are all needed for the update. Then you can safely eject your flash drive and remove it from your computer. Next up we're going to set the unit to standby and start the upload. First you're going to need to select the cog icon and unit standby. Now you're going to be asked to enter a password. Enter the password 211276. Now once inside there, select the power system slider to the off position. Then you can hit the back button and we can continue on by hitting the firmware update button. And now you can insert the USB into the unit just below the control. Make sure you don't shut the door too hard or else you can damage the USB. And then at that point, select the start and the upload will begin. This will take 5 to 10 minutes depending on the unit and what software you'll need to insert. After it's 100%, the screen will shut down and reboot the system. And at that point, you can remove the USB. After the firmware is complete, we're going to need to confirm the manufacturing settings are still correct on the unit. First, we're going to do the model type. So we're going to go back into the cog icon and select firmware update again. At this point, we're going to need to enter a longer password. The password is 9014766419. And you will only be able to see the first six digits of that on the display. But don't worry, the rest of the password is going into the unit. Once the entire password is entered, you'll notice the manufacturing setup. We're going to need to make sure we got the model type still correct. So we're going to need to know if you were a refrigerator or a freezer, a dual temp. And then once that's confirmed, you can now go back. Next, we're going to do the box temperature and defrost type, making sure those are still correct. So go back into your uh, slider icon, select box temperature, enter password 211276. And at that point, all we're doing is just making sure that our temperature is still correct for our set point. Hit back, and now we can check for our uh, defrost type, make sure that's still correct, and then check back again. Um, these don't change often, but there is a possibility, so we just want to make sure. Next, we're going to remove the unit from standby and continue normal operation. So go back into unit standby in the cog settings, enter password 21276, and turn the system power back on. And that'll do it for our firmware update. If this doesn't work, you might have to do it two to three times. And if you have any more problems from there, go ahead and give us a call. And as always, Thank you for watching Delfield Tech Talk. If you'd like more information, learn more about Delfield equipment, continue to follow our YouTube channel.